Hey everyone, so besides bait fishing and trolling, another good way of catching kokanee is by jigging an artificial lure. So again, you gotta use an ultra light rod and reel setup. And um, because these fish are not very big, one to two pound is the average size. Um, so a very light spinning rod, uh, again, six, five to six foot long if you're fishing on the boat, uh, fitted with a small spinning reel. And what I do is I just tie a Gibbs Croc spoon like this one here onto the line. So this is a size 116 ounce Gibbs Croc spoon. You can use silver, you can use um, nickel, you can use copper, you can use gold, anything flashy, the kokanee will like it in the deep water. And what I do is I actually switch the hook from a uh, long shank side watch hook to a general purpose uh, steelhead hook. Uh, this is a size four hook. The reason to do that is so I find um, if you use the long shank one, you, you will snag fish once well, and that's not good. By using this, um, you can actually hook the fish pretty precisely every time when they bite it. So, very, very easy. So you just gotta tie this uh, spoon onto the line and drop it down to the bottom. Drop down to the bottom, takes about 10 to 15 seconds again. Not very long. And that's where the fish are holding usually. You can just watch a sounder. Um, that kind of gives you an idea where the school is. Drop it down to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, the line's gonna go slack because the lure is sitting on the bottom. Um, now it's on the bottom. We're gonna reel in the line a little bit. Now, when the lure drops to the bottom, to the bottom part, it's gonna be sitting maybe one to two feet off the lake bottom. So to jig, don't go really, really hard because then you just be snagging fish and that's no good. So what you wanna do, you wanna just kinda of gently give it a twitch like that. Oh. And notice I got a, had a bait on this rod. This is a baited rod, there's a uh, shrimp on it. And a lot of times if you're fishing on the boat, by yourself, you can use two rods. I like to have one rod that's baited and one rod that's uh, with a spoon jigging on it. And that's just kind of the, the two rods work side by side. It's pretty good. Um, you can, the, the jigged spoon will attract the fish into the area. And then the, the, a lot of times the fish will grab the bait as well. But we have a school of fish going by right now. You just kind of twist the bait, uh, the spoon like that, very lightly. You don't, oh, this fish. Ha! There. That didn't take very long, eh? And there's the kokanee, and... And we have a kokanee in the net. So, such a simple way of catching them. Um, if you have kids getting to fishing and they're not very patient, um, you can just give them this rod, drop the lure to the bottom, and just ask them to jig away if they don't want to sit still. And quite often you get a pretty good surprise like this. Here we have a nice kokanee. We're gonna keep this one, so I'm not too worried about keeping all the water. So here's a nice kokanee around, probably just less than a pound. Good for eating. And the hook is right at the corner of the mouth. There, so one fish, I'm gonna put this in the cooler. I'll be right back and drop the line down again. So like I said, it's pretty easy. So you just drop the line down um, and works excellent when there's a school of fish around. Line down to the bottom again. So down to the bottom, reel it up a little bit and just start twitching again like that. So small twitches, that's enough. Um, the spoon is very compact, it's a casting spoon. Um, so when you lift it up like that, and when it, when it drops, it's gonna flutter down like so, and that's how it attracts the fish. And most of the bites will come when the, when the spoon is dropping down. So don't drop your rod down too fast, because you wanna stay connected to that fishing lure. And if the fish does bite as the lure is dropping, you can feel it, that's when you set the hook. And the other thing is if you're dropping the rod too fast, um, you have too much slack line on the, on the rod tip, and quite often the rod tip will, 
will get tangled up by the slack line if you do that. So drop your rod down gently and just jig away. So there you have it, such a simple way of catching kokanee. Um, all you need is a light rod and reel and a box of small Gibbs croc spoons and, uh, and you can catch some kokanee very easily. And if you have any other questions regarding this technique or any other fishing techniques, um, be sure to leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer your questions. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website or Facebook page for more fishing information in British Columbia. Until next time, good luck fishing.